guys. So I am trying a new thing. I'm gonna show you what I do in the kitchen. So I'm definitely not a chef. I'm not pretending to be a chef. This is not my recipe. I will link to the recipe when I post the video. But today I'm making white chicken chili in the crock pot. So here we go. I've never done a cooking show before, but here we go. All right, so it calls for half an onion. I'm gonna use my food chopper today because I love it. I especially love it for something like chili because it makes such a nice little like uniform size. So it calls for half an onion. I don't know how much of this I'm gonna end up speeding up because it takes a long time, but we'll see. I'll keep talking to you throughout and we'll see what happens. All right. Since I'm using my food chopper, I only have to make these into slices. I don't have to do the full dice, which is good because I am definitely not good at dicing an onion. That is one chef skill that I definitely do not possess. So those will go in the food chopper. Uh, where did I put my, aha, hiding my pepper. All right, one bell pepper. My scraps over on the side here. I'm putting this in the chopper too. Yes, there's a baby on the floor helping me. I don't know if you can see her. Can you see her? I don't think so. The baby's under my feet. But basically, I want you guys to see just how fast this is to make a really easy, healthy dinner. And normally, my two-year-old likes to come and help. He's distracted at the moment, so you just have me and the baby. All right, now these are gonna go in the food chopper. Really easy, I'll turn it this way. Easy but loud. Definitely one to do when the baby. See? All right, if you get one, you can do this one handed. Oh. The other star of the show. Sorry, the other star of the show here. Say hi. Say hi. You know, we're a little grumpy. That's okay. All right, that's all the peppers. Do the onions. See what I mean though? Being able to do this one handed? Game changer. It doesn't have to take a lot of time or a lot of energy to make healthy dinners. And if you aren't using Pinterest to find recipes, do it, it's awesome. That's literally the only thing that I use Pinterest for is recipes. And if you go to my Pinterest, you can see all the recipes. I've been doing this for a long time. I did every single meal that I made when I was pregnant with her. So you can go and look, no excuses. Some of them are healthier than others. Pregnancy cravings, what are you gonna do? Uh, I forgot to do the jalapenos. All right, jalapeno slices. Definitely don't want her getting into that. So it calls for one jalapeno. We like it pretty spicy. Now I would normally use the ulu to cut these because I love it. But since I already have the food chopper going, I just scoop the jalapenos. Fresh jalapenos are aren't very easy to get out here. We're in the Middle East right now, we're in Bahrain. And when you get them, they're crazy expensive. So we use the jar, which they taste just fine. I think people get a little bit too worked up about trying to have super fresh produce all the time. When realistically, most of the preservation that they do really isn't that bad. I don't freak out about it. And we're, we're all pretty healthy. All right, we'll chop those. 
set those over there make sure the baby does not get into the jalapenos pro tip all right so the vegetables are ready to go in i'm going to start with the meat on the bottom of the crock pot so this is the chicken that i should have opened before i started the video that's okay all right there's something here that i want you to see it's very important so we have been living in the middle east for three years now this is the size of a chicken breast here that's the size of a chicken breast that doesn't have a whole bunch of hormones and stuff in it now this is not quote unquote organic this is just like a normal bahrain chicken actually i think this is a saudi arabian chicken but notice the difference in size Keep that in mind when you're cooking, if you're in the States. We kind of take it for granted here. But, so this approximately one pound container actually has five chicken breasts in it. How many chicken breasts are in the one pound container in the States? All right, so I got my chicken in. You can trim it beforehand, but I don't because I'm lazy. <laughs> Uh, I can pick off the parts that are kind of uh, when it's done cooking and it's actually easier I think after it's done cooking all right let me rinse my hand off all right so the chicken is in I have a can of chopped green chilies going into the crock pot And then all of the vegetables that we chopped up. I'm gonna hit this. Some of the jalapenos got caught up in the top. Sorry, I didn't mean to scare you, little girl. Okay. So they're all nice, same size. Oh, I love this thing. Anything that makes my life easier in the kitchen, I'm all about. vegetables in what next spices all right so this is just a tablespoon of cumin and some garlic powder the recipe called for fresh garlic but I forgot to get it at the store so we have garlic powder instead so put that in there I like having it in the bowl it makes me feel like a TV chef all right and then three cups of chicken broth this is two cups of water because Chicken broth is one of those hit or miss things out here. Pick those up. All right, so three cups of water, and then I use just the broth cubes because chicken broth is not always easy to find out here. They have a little bit higher sodium, I think. I don't know. I should. I shouldn't say that I actually think that these are reduced sodium but I never actually add salt when I cook so I don't worry about the sodium that's in broth but if you're adding salt when you're cooking it's definitely something to keep in mind all right so one of these makes two cups so I just did one and a half and that's it now I'm going to put the container into the crock pot that's over in the corner that wouldn't make a good video over there and that will cook on high for about three to four hours till the chicken is cooked and then we add cream cheese and heavy cream which has a very um, keto feel to it where it's a low carb chicken chili which we don't follow a keto diet we don't follow a low carb diet but we are doing lower carb dinners right now so that's why i've chosen this recipe um i will do a video at a, another time explaining the difference between the two and talking a little bit more in depth about whether it's good or not to follow the keto diet when you're breastfeeding or a low carb diet while you're breastfeeding exactly what sort of nutrients you need so stay tuned for that at a later time and I will try to remember to take a picture of this when it's done so you can see how it turned out. Bye. Say bye, little girl. Bye-bye. 
All right, it's a few hours later. I actually remembered to finish up the video, so we're gonna finish our chili. So I have my super helper here today, or this afternoon. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is take the chicken, the cooked chicken out of the crock pot. We're gonna shred it. And I will probably end up fast forwarding this part because it's kind of boring watching me shred chicken. But before I do that, I will say that I freaking love cooking chicken in the crock pot because it always cooks perfectly. So I'm terrible at cooking chicken. I'm so paranoid about giving people food poisoning that I always overcook chicken. It's always rubbery and gross, except in the crock pot, because the crock pot loves me. All right, so you shred this chicken. Oh yeah, that shreds so easily. <laughs> no, let's not play in the cream cheese. Oy. All right, you move the cream cheese out of the way. Thank you, excellent helper. Super glamorous mom moments. All right. You want some of the chicken? Yeah. Might be a little bit hot. Give it a second. We'll pull some out for you though. Make sure we don't have any jalapenos on it. There you go. And this kid loves the chicken. Just let it, no! let it cool down. <laughs> when it no. isn't too hot, he loves the chicken. No. Well, it's just no. hot. Just give it a second. He also didn't take a nap today, so he's in a great mood. That's it. The chicken is shredded. We'll put it back into the pot, except for the couple pieces I pulled out. Uh, I pulled some out for you, buddy. There's chicken bites for you. All right, and we have eight ounces of cream cheese. Put that in. It's supposed to be softened. Normally I would leave it out for a little while to get to room temperature, but I forgot. So I put it in the microwave for about 45 seconds or so. All right, cream cheese is in. Then a quarter cup of heavy cream. Okay, so I just started doing this like this week and I feel like a genius, so I have to share it, even though I'm sure that I'm a moron and <laughs> totally late to the party on this. But we always have these boxes of heavy cream sitting in the refrigerator, and I never know which one is fresh. So I wrote the day that I opened it on the top of the container. I'm very proud of myself for this. <laughs> Anyways, all right, so we stir this up. <laughs> and I'm going to turn the temperature to low because we have a very hot crock pot, but we'll put the lid back on. Give it about 30 minutes to melt all the cheese and then we'll have a nice good dinner.